Well, I went inside to make myself a cup of coffee right here. And Spice decided to get himself into some trouble. I cannot leave Spice for any amount of time. Or he will find something that he's not supposed to be doing and get into it. So let me flip you around and show you what he was doing. Do you guys see them? The kittens are, are right there. And Spice decided that he found one underneath my car and decided to chase them. Yep, aren't they cute? You know, as much as I gripe about the feral cats in the neighborhood, the kittens are cute. They are cute. <laughs> oh, those kittens are having fun this morning. And so I wanted to bring you a little kitten fun. All right. Feral cats in the neighborhood. Cute as a button. Okay, I'm back from the feral cats. Let me get this in the right position. Okay, there we go. I'm sorry if I'm making y'all dizzy. There we go. Okay, so. Those are kittens from feral cats. They're cute. People feed them in the neighborhood. But, like I said, when they start feeding the cats in the neighborhood, they soon realize that they have a hundred cats eating off of their food plates, okay? <sighs> All right, Saturday morning. It's beautiful out here. I absolutely love coming out and sitting on my porch on these... Um, on these beautiful mornings. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do. I just got to make sure that these raining leaves don't end up in my coffee. Yeah. But anyway, Spice was chasing the cats and he got himself tangled up underneath my car while I was getting my coffee. The plants are doing beautiful. The Serrano peppers are looking good. All right. I am trying, I'm not touching the soil. All right. That's one of the things. But as soon as I get clearance from, there's the tomatoes. Okay. As soon as I get clearance from the doctor, I will be, um, I'll be planting some more seeds, okay? That I will be doing, okay? So I'm excited about these plants and getting them in the ground and and then having produce, okay? I'm excited about it. All right, I'm going to turn the camera off, but there's going to be more coming, I promise. All right, everyone, let's get busy on some things in here, okay? I am getting ready to... get these the roast that I made a couple of days ago um, hold on a minute let me get I am ready to get the roast that I made a couple of days the roast potatoes and carrots into these containers and made up into meals all right and these two of them will be meals for today, okay? And so I think I'm going to be able to make divide this up into four and then put the roast in each one and gravy on top of everything, okay? I think that's what I'm going to get doing. And I'm hoping you guys can see this. Let me get back over here and see. If you can, you should be able to see what I'm doing. In front is the chicken broth that I made. Um, let me show it to you. See that? That's the chicken broth that I made uh, with the chicken carcass. 
from the rotisserie chicken and there's only three quarts and my canner takes seven quarts so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these three quarts and I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator and these will be used up in the next day or two okay so let me get those put in the refrigerator for you and get them out of the way so you can see what I'm doing okay they are just barely warm and so um, they'll be all right in my refrigerator and so I you know I'm busy 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 okay I am going to move things around in my refrigerator and the reason I'm going to do that is because I want these, everything is, that I put on the top shelf in my refrigerator is getting frozen. And so, which is not a bad thing, okay? But I don't want these to freeze, these quart jars. I don't want them to freeze. So, we're going to get these in here. So that chicken broth is now officially done. All right, and now let me move you in and hold on a minute. Okay, that's a better angle for what I'm gonna be doing, okay? So let me get Let me get this going. I'll put a spoonful in each one. And this is a big chunk of um, a little bit more vegetables on this one. Okay. because most of that one took up with the onions, okay? I'm going to spread those onions among the four different bowls here. And the reason is because I do like the onions. And so I will spread out the onion. So, there we go. Spice is letting you know. Every time I get busy on something, he's got to let you know that he is around and he hears something outside. This is Saturday, so at the time of the filming, it's Saturday. So I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to disperse these. Make sure I don't waste any of it because it's so good. It's so good. Okay. There's a little bit of onion in there. So this is how I do this, all right? My dishwasher is emptied out, so all these dishes can go in the dishwasher. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of this meat in each one of these bowls, like about two slices. Let's not waste that, no. Okay, so. One slice. One slice is enough. Okay. I could eat two slices, but one is enough. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to pull this because I'm short. And we are going to put a spoonful of that gravy on each one of these. To start off with, yeah, to start off with, 
I, you heard me. I said that. Okay? Because I like this gravy. <laughs> this gravy is good. All right, now let's go back and put a second one on there. Because I like this gravy, people. All right? <laughs> So look at it like this, okay? That is pretty much the broth off of like a stew, a beef stew, okay? It's the exact same way you make beef stew. Uh, what do you call it? The broth, the, the oh, I don't know how to say it. I'm washing my hands because I just touched this stuff, okay? Uh, it's the exact same way that you make the, um, the creamy part of beef stew, okay? And this is exact, exactly the same ingredients for beef stew. It's just separated out, okay? So, if you look at it this way, this is four containers of beef stew. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and put the lids on these. And I wanna thank the viewer who sent me all of the containers. Um, thank the viewers who sent me all of the containers because I want you to see that I'm using them, okay? I also wanna thank the viewer that sent me these storage uh, plastic ones, the round ones. That's what I stored all of this um, ingredients with. I used them right away as soon as I could. All right. And so here we go. We have four meals for the next several days. Am I going to be mad that I'm eating this stuff for the next couple of days or so for lunch and dinner? No, I'm not going to be mad at all. <laughs> I do not mind eating leftovers at all, people. <sighs> all right. So, in the background, I am putting the containers into the refrigerator. Behind you. Okay. And getting this job done, or this task done, okay. And Now I have this roast beef that I have to do something with. And so what I'm gonna do with the rest of this roast beef is it's gonna go into um, quart size jars, oh no, quart size bags. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do it right here in front of you. Take you guys along. Show you how I do this process. I'm not gonna stop the camera. You're going to see how I do it. <laughs> All right. So. I'm going to back you up so you can see my process here. And the roast beef is right there. Okay. So. All right. I've been busy. All right. I'm gonna take this because I don't wanna use this to write on. It's just gonna make it bad, okay? So I'm gonna think, I'm gonna divide that up into four bags. 
Let's try two first and see where it goes. If I need two more, I'll label two more. All right, so it's going to be 4, 24, and I'm going to roast. I'm just going to do that, roast, because beef. I'm going to put beef on it because there's a such thing as a pork roast as well. So, so I want to know it's beef. So, not only did I get the meal I ate after it, I got four other ones, so that's five meals. And then these are going to be used to make more meals out of. I may make tacos with them. I may, I don't know what I'm going to do with them, okay? But, I'll bring you along when I do, okay? I promise you, I'll bring you along when I do. I might make enchiladas. I've been thinking about doing that. So, so I fold this out like this so that I don't get the rims messed up. Okay. All right. Let's see. Okay, here's two pieces, two large pieces of this. If I can get it in there. Yeah, I got it in there. Alright, and then we're gonna do the same thing with this. But this one's split in half, which is okay. But we'll put these two large pieces is split in half in here. Okay. to break it in half because it's going to fit in there easier. Yep. It's going to fit in the bag easier if I break it in half. So. Okay. Put this one in here. Yep. Two bags was enough. of this in here and half of this in here and whatever is left on the plate will go into one of the bags. Okay. There we go. Now these will go into my freezer. Okay. And they will be used in a variety of dishes. All ready, ready to be used. Already cooked and ready to be used. All right, there we go. <clears throat> okay, now I'm gonna take this. Oops, whoops, whoops. I'm going to take this. Excuse me, Spice. I need you to get out of the way, baby. I don't want to step on you, little thing. You. I'm going to bring you guys over here. Excuse me, Spice. Excuse me. These people want to see what I'm doing. And you're going to see me put these things in the dishwasher right away.
I see in my backside. I didn't think about that when I did that, but oh well. You guys see my backside. It is what it is. All right, into the freezer. Behind you, I'm putting it into my refrigerator freezer. And the reason I'm doing that is because it's already cooked meat. And so this one. This freezer is where I use only already cooked meat. It's ready just quick. And so that's done. All right. And now I'm waiting. These froze. My eggs froze. Okay. My boiled eggs froze. So I am going to wipe everything down. I'm gonna back you guys up. Back you up over here again. And you guys can see me wipe everything down. All right. I love this pan. The viewer that bought it for me I use it almost every day. Right, I'm going to put all this stuff over here out of the way for right now. And we are going to wipe everything down here. Okay. And now you're going to see why. Okay. It is life. over here this is my oil my olive oil and so I have to be careful because that was on the edge and it could fall back there I just realized that so I gotta be careful and these are things I need to get used up that's why they're here so we're gonna leave these things here until I get them used up until I can see well enough to um, use the recipes that I have pulled for these okay <laughs> I am gonna wash this off washed, rinsed. Now I'm going to dry it and put it back. Okay. Now that's 
done. But oh wait. There we go. That's done. Put this over here. And now we're gonna pull these racks off and wipe down everything over here. Once, but twice. Because I was dealing with chicken broth, I was dealing with beef. This is wiped down. With some nice hot soapy water. And now we're going to wipe this down the second time. Just some of them get on top of that. I am not going to do a deep clean and take all these pieces off. That I won't do. But once again, I'm wiping everything down. Again. I'm going to take some things off. Because they do get dirty. Then, Wash it. 
on the counter. I wiped, I wiped it all down. There's something right there, so let me get it up. I saw it, I'm gonna get it up. All right. There we go. Now, what you don't see is that I'm spraying down the sink with some antibacterial cleaner that is environmentally safe. sterilize the sink. Okay? I do this once or twice a day. Just so I don't make myself sick. Um, so, that's done. y'all see one chore down one chore down hey everyone oh i got some things going on for sure here i do for sure for sure for sure all right you can hear the coffee going this is my evening decaffeinated coffee you can see i have peach slices here I am about to make the jello. So let's get this going so we can get this jello dissolved and ready to go into my little cups here. Okay. All right, I've got this. Let me get the little whisk out. Jello in. This time it's strawberry. So we're going to have strawberry peach jello for the next day or two. Let's get this dissolved in here.
that appears to be dissolved. I'm gonna take the juice from the peaches and it's in natural juices, so it's in juice. Nothing else. Put it in there. Then, see, is there any more juice? Just a little bit more juice, that's fine. Okay, and then, I'll take the lid off of this. Being very careful not to slice myself. And we're gonna divide the peaches up among these containers. I'm gonna put two in each to start off with. These are peaches from the food bank that are past their best by date and I'm trying to get them used up. So that's little, four little slices of peaches in every one of them so far. Each one is going to get about five. Yep, that's what it looks like. Each one is going to get about five. Okay. Rest of the juice goes in there. Then we're going to mix this up really good. And we're going to pour it into our containers. As evenly as I can. All right. All of this goes into the sink. This goes into the trash can behind me. Let me run a little water in this so it doesn't stick. Put the lids on these. Okay, this is like one of those, remember those boards that we used to have when we were kids that you put the uh, puzzle pieces together by switching around <laughs> the puzzle pieces. You know, you used to get them at the carnivals and stuff like that. <laughs> That's what that felt like for a moment, okay? Let's go ahead and get these into the refrigerator. you guys all right so we've been busy today as well I didn't film it all but you're gonna see the results of it in a minute okay all right I went ahead and peeled the eggs
they turned out fine. The texture changed just a little bit because they froze. That's all right. Instead of, I'm gonna use non bread. So I'm trying to work through that. I'm gonna toast it. While the toast is going, okay? That's, I'm talking to you guys while the toast is toasting, okay? Let me get a little creamer. We need that. Behind the scenes, I'm getting a little creamer. going on the non bread got toasted so let's get in here without burning myself now we have hot non bread and I made egg salad I did this exact same thing I did with um, you know making uh, deviled eggs except that that is hot except that um, I just squashed it up, okay? That's what I did. Just squashed it up. And so, we are going to make ourselves, and that's enough, an egg salad sandwich for dinner. That's what I'm going to have for dinner. Okay? Oh, look at that. I just washed this. I just wiped that thing down. Let me wipe it down again. All right, here we go. There we go. There we go. There is my dinner for tonight. Let me put the egg salad away. And 
I will take my first bite out of it for you guys. Mm. This is good. All right. I'll meet you back in my office, guys. Okay? All right, everyone. We're in my office. Spice gave me the signal he needed to go outside, so... I am now finishing up my sandwich, my non bread sandwich, egg salad, with you guys. Mm. And I have, hold on a minute, I'm out of them, okay. I have um, I have my coffee with me. I'm scatterbrained right now. This happened. But I wanted to touch base with you. And let you guys know that you guys are blessing me every day okay i cannot i cannot believe what is happening with my youtube channel okay i came in here after taking my nap and my subscribers is up to 1890 and i'm working on 2000 getting 2000 subscribers but the numbers are jumping and all I can say is thank you, thank you, and thank you. I appreciate you guys liking, leaving comments. When you guys do that, it makes a difference. Sharing it with people in your feed, um, it does make a difference. And this is a prime example of it making a difference. From the time I got up this morning until to until this evening, when I got up this morning, it was that 1,885. So, my channel has gotten five new subscribers today. That's cra that's crazy to me. Okay, <laughs> so I am so blessed by you guys. I am. I am going to leave you some links of uh, playlists um, like I do every day, every day that I that I record. I try to leave links of playlists for you to go back and watch older ones. And it's real simple. I make it really simple. So it's a playlist. So all you have to do is start it and then have your settings set to play on. Okay. And it will play through several however many you want until you want to stop it and uh, and it's helpful it helps okay <laughs> so I'm gonna leave the playlist and if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe it makes a difference it does make a difference you guys be blessed because I know I am you guys bless me each and every day 